Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Boy, girl, or another choice altogether, Brighton Council has defended its letter written to all primary school parents urging them to support their child's choice of gender identity. One Tory MP described it as utterly ridiculous. From Brighton, Porica Brown has this. Brighton and Hove City Council pupil registration paperwork is not the sort of thing you'd expect to spark a debate over your family's gender identity. Um, basically, I identify as non-binary, uh, which means that I don't fully identify as 100% male or 100% female. The form sent to parents of four-year-olds starting school had a gender section. Then, underneath, the following two sentences. We recognise that not all children and young people identify with the gender they were assigned at birth and may identify as a gender other than male or female. Please support your child to choose the gender they most identify with. Or, if they have another gender identity, please leave this blank and discuss this with your child's school. I think it's good for sort of starting up that narrative about questioning gender roles and gender identity as a construct and sort of starting that conversation with your child because I don't think there's anything wrong with that really. Yeah. I fully support um, children who identify as trans but at four that's a little bit early. Where do you it's stand important on that to have it, form, but don't put form. the ideas into the kids' mind. Let the kids grow up and learn about themselves. Don't like put too many, plant too many ideas in their head with that form. But to show the parents that form is a good idea. The thing that some people have questioned yeah. is whether it's the council encouraging parents to have a conversation about gender identity with a four-year-old. At a very young age. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think that. Like, you don't read that from that. No, you would either tick male or female unless you'd ever the had any reason. Four-year-old is not filling that in himself. Yeah, exactly. I think if, if you're trying. Four-year-old is not filling that form in himself. Is it? Yeah. They've got time to grow. Yeah. Into what they think they are or whatever they feel, but I think it's a bit young, isn't it? So I, th I think it is a good thing. Is this the first interview you've ever done with your face in a face board on Brighton Pier? <laughs> yes, I'm afraid it is. <laughs> but yeah, it's fun. <laughs> The council say the form is not about encouraging parents to have conversations about gender identity with four-year-olds. They do, though, want to leave the door open to that, if appropriate. If anything good comes out of this today, that people have a little bit more awareness and realise that it's, it's really just simple for them. They tick the box unless their child is in distress, in which case I would urge them to talk to us. How many complaints have you had about this? One. The council don't have evidence of a particular problem with four-year-olds experiencing gender identity distress in Brighton. Their take, if there's even a chance of that though, an extra few lines on a form are worth it. <laughs>